Hey, what is up you guys? Uh, my name is Sarah and you gotta bear with me because this is my first video that I've ever done. So, um, today we are doing the elf makeup that as you just saw. And I already did my eyebrows. Um, I primed my face already as well, so that's why it shows you what I show you earlier. Or later. As you can see, I'm going in with the foundation by number 7. It's beautifully matte. And I'm going to take my sponge and dab it there. Now this foundation has a medium, well, actually I would say a medium to full coverage, as you can see. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX concealer. Um, I think this is the shade Porcelain. And you want to make sure you always include your concealer because it does crease and the concealer for some reason always stops the creasing. And then I will take my uh, setting powder, which is actually the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, but I use it as setting powder. And this will help your concealer. It's kind of a two-way thing. The concealer helps with creasing and so does settings powder. I love this powder due to the fact that it's not too white and it doesn't have really much color to it. It's very translucent and it's one of the setting powders that you do not need to wipe away. It really just sets in there beautifully and I absolutely love it. Now for this part I'm going to be taking my um, soft little sponge thing that I got in the e.l.f. palette or the e.l.f. high definition powder thing and I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me palette, uh, Poreless Powder. It's one of my favorites. It's the one that I always go to and it definitely makes your skin that very matte look. Now I'm going to go in with my Illuminate uh, by Ashley Tisdale on BH Cosmetics. I think it's the Beach Goddess palette and as you can see there I was going to be going for the lightest color in the palette but you couldn't really see because of the light which I plan on getting better. Alright, now I'm going to be taking the dark one and the shimmer one. I absolutely love that shimmer color. It is beautiful. And you can see later how it works just perfectly with that dark color that I'm putting on my outer corner of my eye. Now, doing this will make your eyes really pop. And I'm using a color that is brown. And brown really makes um, greenish hazel eyes really pop out. And same with purple. Now as you can see here, I'm just kind of putting it on the base of my eyelid and we will go in later on to blend that out. Now here's the blending part. I will take my flat brush. Now keep in mind I will never ever use brush brushes to their assigned type of makeup because I think brushes, I make them work in my own way and it's just the way I got used to. Now as you can see those colors just blend beautifully together and I absolutely love BH Cosmetics because their shadow palettes blend. And as you can see right here I'm using the Coastal Scents palette and <laughs> that white is pretty much gone but it's pretty much the one that I use the most. Now I'm just highlighting that under brow. You can't, you can't do a makeup without the highlighting under brow. Alright, now we're done with that part. Now I'm just highlighting with that same color from Coastal Cosmetic or Coastal Scents. And I'm using that same white powder in the inner corner of my eye. Now this will make your eyeshadow actually pop out even more as well. 
And now for this part, I'm taking that dark color again and just shadowing out my under eye line. Some people call it the water line. It, it really doesn't matter. It's pretty much the same thing to me, but you know. Now I did realize I had some fallout here, so I'm taking my little cloth sponge thing again, and it works beautifully. It doesn't smear it, nothing. It just picks it up. I'm doing a little fix in the eyebrow there. I'm not quite sure what happened. Probably wiped it away on accident. We've all had those days. Now, like I said, bear with me. This is my first ever video that I've ever done with editing and everything. All right, now I'm taking my uh, Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. Um, I kind of lost the footage to that, but it worked perfectly, and it's it's just making a wing. And I'm taking my Maybelline, I'm not quite sure what that eyeliner is called, but I have used it for years. It is perfect for using on the waterline because it just, it's very, very vibrant and pigmented. Now I'm taking my Lash Voluminous, um, I think that's by L'Oreal. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras that I have ever used. It really just volumizes the eyelashes and it makes them full and it definitely adds some length. I was shocked when I first used it. Now I'm taking my Ardell eyelashes. I think that's how you say it, Ardell. I would hope so. Just make sure you take all the excess, excess glue off. Otherwise it'll just make it very clumpy and they won't sit right. Okay, now so you blow on the glue so that it doesn't smudge too much. And I do blow on the glue when it comes to the eyelashes due to the fact that it helps it dry quicker. Look at them pretty eyelashes. Alright, so now, yeah, I just take my mascara and I just blend it in with the eyelashes and it just makes them blend perfectly. Just gotta make sure everything's all perfect and right. Almost looks like I have a birthmark on my hand. Did you see that? <laughs> Good makeup there. Now I'm going to be taking this bronzing. It, it's more of a bronzer, but I thought for this look it would work as a contour. So I pretty much used it for both. And I went a very, very, very... Sh Actually, I wouldn't say it's very sharp. I did use kind of a sharp way to contour my cheeks this time due to the fact that it is kind of an elf makeup and they tend to have some high cheekbones. Now it wasn't too sharp, but it was just sharp enough. And to make sure you contour your forehead, if you have a forehead like mine, um, you don't want to connect it in the middle because it'll make you it just wouldn't look exactly right. And yes, I know that my collar looks a little bit orange right now, but I promise you once um, we finish the look and my hair is down and my ears are all on, it'll pretty much, the look will come together. It's always weird how sometimes makeup just looks really weird until it's very end and you're like, oh, that works. This is my case. I love those brushes for contouring. Oh my god, you can get those things at uh, Walmart. I got them and I was like, oh my. They're, they don't work very well for applying foundation or anything, but they work perfectly for blending in contouring on your nose, your cheeks, neck, and everything. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette. It's my highlighting palette. Um, I think the letter's DD. Um, I got this brush. I have no idea where it, where I got it from. I think I got it from another palette, but I have no idea. But it works beautifully when you're trying to highlight. Oh my god, I'm going to need some new lighting here. Ugh. But, like I said, keep in mind, this is my first video. 
and I'm actually pretty proud of it. I'm very, I'm very proud of it. My face is so shiny. So shiny. Oh, I love Milana. Now, I always do this with my neck due to the fact that when I contour my neck, because I'm so very, very milky skinned, it makes it just pop out. And I'm using my Master Fix uh, setting spray from, I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, I think it's like $11. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline lipstick. Um, as you can see, I can't even tell you what number that was. I'm not somebody who just keeps track of every brand of makeup that I use in every makeup that I do. I probably should, but I don't. I just know how it works. <laughs> I'll probably get a lot better at it later on, but... Now I kept this part in because that way you can see the kind of technique that I use when it comes to my lips. I don't really make my lips any bigger than they really are because I already have full lips and I think either going too big or too little would look weird. And as you can see, I'm going back in with my Coastal Scents palette. And I'm taking that white color and putting it on my lips and it'll make it kind of like a grayish. And it's amazing with the finished product. I'm just bringing that all the way down to my chin. Now I'm going to go with my H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner by Wet n Wild. Um, I'm just using this to dot my, uh, just to dot the little designs on my face. As you can see, I didn't really even, like, really even move the, I guess the wand is what you would call it, but because this stuff is just very, very pigmented and it just comes off the wand as soon as it hits your skin. Yeah, see, like, right there. You don't even have to, like, push too much. You just dot, and it's there. Now, the character that I'm doing is maybe my LARP character. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still coming up with ideas on what I'm going to do with my LARPing character. We'll see. i got to get some wigs. Maybe the, I'll get the wigs and maybe that'll just help me come up with the ideas. And now I'm just putting some dots on my lips just to kind of complete the look. <laughs> like, oh my god. I'm so emotional when it comes to my makeup that I would, like, if I absolutely love it, it almost brings a tear to my eye. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Alright, so now I'm going to be um, bobby pinning my hair, or however you want to say it, putting your hair or locking your hair in place, so that I can apply my ears, and right there I was putting on spirit glue, or spirit gum, however you want to say it, and putting it on my ears. Now those are my favorite elf ears, oh my god. Um, I plan on getting the link ears as well because they stick out a lot more than the high elf ears are, which are the ones that I'm wearing in the video. I want to get those so bad, but these ones work just as well. I absolutely love them. And yes, they may seem a little discolored, but that's due to the fact that uh, I was doing a purple elf makeup a while ago. But at the same time, I kind of left to the tips, kind of the skin color more. Now, if you see it right, from the frontal of my face and my ears, they're pretty much the same color, but the tip, or the inside and the edges closer to my ear, they're more purple. But those are usually hidden by your hair anyway. Oh my god, I love my elf ears. Oh, they're just so amazing. Absolutely love it. All right, guys. Now this is the final look. I I am very very pleased with this look. And like I said, bear with me. This is my very first video and my very first voiceover. And I'm pretty sure I'll get better at it. But like I said, this is my first one, and I'm so excited about it. 
Um, I'm so excited that I did this makeup for it because I've been wanting to do a makeup for an elf for like ever and I finally did and so I want to thank you guys for joining me and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!